Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is a reaction to states with the most natural disasters don't move here. And if I was to guess the state, the US state with the most natural disasters, it probably would be somewhere like Florida or one of the, like Oklahoma, maybe? Texas, because it's bigger. Maybe there's just, because it's bigger, there's just bigger area to hit and stuff. Or if we're talking about the biggest, Alaska is obviously the biggest one, but I don't think there's really much that goes on there. But, um, I mean, California, you've got, like, earthquakes and stuff, but I don't know how common that is. Storms throughout the U.S., hurricanes throughout the U.S., tornadoes throughout the U.S., like, there's different possibilities. Will, like, a snowstorm count as a natural disaster? I assume so, but, um, maybe not. But, yeah, if I was to guess, I'd say either Florida or one of the southern states or someone like Oklahoma or Kansas, something like that. But we're going to check this out and see. Or maybe like New York, because there's like flooding and stuff as well. Like there's many different things that happen throughout the US. But yeah, if I was to say top three, number one, oh, I feel like I'm going to be so wrong. Number one, Florida. Number, no, oh, Louisiana. Number one, Louisiana. Number two, Oklahoma. Number three, Florida. Number four, New York. There we go. That's our predictions. You know how sometimes really big things happen in nature that have the potential to really screw up your week? Well, these things are called natural disasters. They happen suddenly wow. and they can oh. wreck things like buildings, land, even people's life. In the United States, we face various types of natural disasters. Some of the usual ones are floods, hurricanes, earthquakes, tornadoes, wildfires, blizzards, tsunamis, and Gary Busey interviews. Talk about buttered sausage, where it comes from, what it does. This is a subject I'm asked about all the time. If that's something you need to know about, I'm gonna give you this video, but there's also a website I go to for a lot of this information. It's replaced Zillow as my favorite website. It's called Where Might I Live? And they got this wish list function. You could put down what you require. You don't want a bunch of natural disasters. You want low crime, you want good schools. Put all that in and it spits out which counties in the United States are best suited for your criteria. That's They're not cool. sponsoring this video. I just think it's a pretty cool website. There's a link in the description area below. Anyway, back to the natural disasters. When these disasters strike, they can mess up a lot of things. Houses can be destroyed and businesses can lose a bunch of money that might take them years to recover from. Now it's just not the loss of money and housing and all that. Some people go through one too many natural disasters in an area and they decide it's time to move someplace else. I know more than a few people in Southern California that have moved because of the wildfires. Today we're looking at the states that reported the most natural disasters in 2022. Now I'm also including how many times the federal government declared a natural disaster in a state since they started reporting those in 1953. Got it, get it, good, let's take a look. Number 10, New Jersey. New Jersey. New Jersey, number 10. Maybe my New York for number four wasn't a good shout. Oh, no. Also, maybe California and some, like, one of those states would be higher because the wildfires do go, like, they're, they're ridiculous there. I'm going to say California, number six. There we go. Jersey's had a lot of disasters. Not all of them are natural. You have the MTV show Jersey Shore. That was a disaster. <laughs> you had all kinds of super fun sites back in the day. And there's a place called Camden, New Jersey. But the natural disasters come from New Jersey's densely populated coast. It's vulnerable to flooding, storm surges, erosion, rising sea levels. And during certain months and certain years, the water gets a little warm and gets a little tropical and kind of sucks hurricanes up that direction. They've been hit with quite a few over their history. Storm Surge Sandy was the worst natural disaster in New Jersey's history. It caused $83.9 billion in damages and 43 fatalities back in October of 2012. Hurricane Ida, which was the remnants of Hurricane Ida when it finally hit New Jersey in 2021, it cost $80.2 billion in damage. Oh and then of days. course, Hurricane Irene hit in 2011. That took about 17 billion in damages. They've also had Hurricane Ivan in 2004 that cost about 32 billion in damages. So they've had some damage. Billion? I was thinking, wait, a million, which is still a lot, but a billion? Oh, how do you, these places constantly recover from this sort of stuff? Damage done to them 
by Mother Nature. The statistics that were released in 2022 were actually 2021 numbers. And that year, New Jersey declared 47 natural disaster areas, which sometimes included calling out the National Guard, things of that nature. Now, when it gets serious, like Superstorm Sandy, Hurricane Ida, and all those other ones, that's when the federal government gets involved and helps out. Every state has a handful of state emergencies every single year. But New Jersey called out 47 in 2021, and the federal government has called out 50 since it started reporting these in 1953. Jeez. Number nine, Kansas. Kan so I mentioned Kansas, but then I said Oklahoma. Did I say Oklahoma too? I said Louisiana one, Oklahoma two, Florida three, and New York four. I did mention Kansas though. Kansas has a lot of things going on there. Tornadoes being the biggest one, flooding also, then you get ice storms, lightning strikes that normally cause some form of fire, flash flooding, droughts, winter storms, all that. Is that a real tornado? Is that real footage? I don't, oh mate, that looks fucking horrible. That normally cause some form of fire, flash flooding, droughts, winter storms, all that good stuff. Kansas ranks second place for tornadoes from the years 1997 to 2022. They're ahead of Oklahoma and behind- They're ahead of Oklahoma. Behind Texas. Yeah, Texas saw the most in that time. Now, back in the day, Kansas had some serious problems. They had an earthquake in 1867 in Manhattan, Kansas. 1875, they had a major locust swarm, which you don't hear that too often. And of course, in 1935, the Dust Bowl. Kansas is most famous for its tornadoes, thanks to The Wizard of Oz. Have you ever really thought about The Wizard of Oz? What happened in that movie? A tornado transports a young girl and her dog to a magical land where she kills the first person she meets and then teams up with three strangers to kill again. In the 2022... I've never actually watched The Wizard of Oz, which is crazy to think, right? Because it's probably one of the most famous films ever. And I know the song, like the song in the film, but I've never seen the film. Obviously, there's many versions, I'm pretty sure, but in the original, wasn't there this whole thing about how there was someone actually hanging, like, who, they, they, it was like, they killed themselves or something, and they're in the background in the original film that was made in, like, the 50s, I think. Something like that, it's crazy. Maybe it's, wait, The Wizard of Oz is before the 50s, right? Maybe, like, the 40s or 30s. To report, Kansas declared 55 natural disasters, and since 1953, the federal government has declared 70. Damn. Number eight, Florida. This one. Jeez, man, I'm off, far off. Fun. Yeah, it surprises me because with all the hurricanes they've seen over the years, you think this would be much worse. Sure, they're in the top 10, but I mean, just when you watch the news and the history of Florida, you think they have a potential to be in the top two. They're not. I mean, until manatee decide they've had enough and start attacking people. Florida sees a lot of different natural disasters. Hurricanes, obviously. <laughs> they've had a few winter storms. They have storm surges, wildfires. And believe it or what? not, they average about 60 tornadoes touch down annually in Florida. Most of them don't rise, to, almost all of them don't rise to the level of, you know, major damage or a natural disaster, but they do get them. And that's a fact. I've had to look it up a couple different times. I've had people complain. I've lived in Florida my entire life. I've never seen or heard of a tornado. If you're leaving that comment, I got some bad news for you. You get about 60 a year. But hurricanes are obviously what really does damage to Florida, which chases a lot of people away. I don't have time to list all of these hurricanes. Here's a couple of the biggest ones, and they're the bigger ones we've ever had in the nation. Hurricane Katrina. This hurricane was one of the most expensive natural disasters in United States history. Over $108 billion lost. That's not just in Florida, the entire thing. It wow. is the third most deadly hurricane in U.S. history. You had Hurricane Andrew, which just destroyed things. And in 1926, they had the Miami hurricane. This hurricane had 150 mile an hour winds, and it killed 372 people. The state of Florida in 2021 declared 61 natural disasters, and the federal government since 1953 has declared 130 in Florida. Flipping hell. Number seven, New York. Fuck, uh, maybe, man, I've had a stinker. Maybe it's because I've spent most of my life on the West Coast. I've never heard of many in New York. I know they get some serious winter weather, but they've been hit by some hurricanes or at least tropical storms that have been devastating. Now, New York shares a lot of the same problems that New Jersey does. I mean, other than Camden. They're right next to each other, so it only makes sense. But they get severe storms, floods, winter storms, wildfire, tropical storms. 
wildfires in New York, storms, tornadoes, landslides, and droughts in New York. New York's coastal location makes it susceptible to hurricanes and tropical storms every single year. Now, they don't always make it all the way up to New York, but it seems like every year at least one starts getting a little close and making people nervous. And then on the sad occasions, they hit. Hurricane Sandy, Hurricane Ida, Hurricane Ivan. In 2021, they had a winter storm and cold wave that cost $25.6 billion to the area. They've wow. even had a couple earthquakes. In 1944, they had the Cornwell-Messina earthquake. And in 02, they had the Osable Forks earthquake. But the big ones for New York State are going to be the winter weather. You had the 2004 Christmas Eve winter storm. They had in 07, the North American ice storm. 1971, the Great Lakes blizzard. These have all done some serious damage. In 2021, New York State named 63 natural disasters, and the federal government since 1953 has declared 95 in New York State. I mean, that's a lot less than Florida in terms of federal emergencies. I guess that's not the only thing that's you're judging this off, but wasn't Florida like 130? That's like 35 more. Fuck knows. Number six, Tennessee. Tennessee sees... See, I did say the South. A lot of the Southern states will be here just because they get hit hard. Mainly with storms and hurricanes, to be honest. There's a lot of different types of natural disasters. And I'm not even talking about their weird fascination with mullets and lamb chop sideburns. <laughs> the natural disasters that Tennessee is prone to include severe storms, floods, wildfires, tornadoes, tropical storms, landslides, power outages. They're not really a natural disaster, obviously, but usually a natural disaster causes them and it creates bigger problems. They've even had a couple earthquakes. The most frequent natural disaster Tennessee sees is going to be the tornado. In 1952, they had the Oak Ridge tornado. In May of 2011, they had a major tornado break out there. Flooding is another big one that happens in Tennessee. They have so many lakes, rivers, streams, creeks, whatever. They've got a lot of water everywhere. It causes a lot of flooding. In 2021, Tennessee declared 64 natural disasters, and the federal government has declared 69 since 1953. Damn. Number five, Kentucky. Now this is going to be just southern states dominated, I think. In just the last two years, Kentucky has recorded several billion dollar events. These events include the December tornado outbreak in western Kentucky, that was in 2021, the historic flooding in eastern Kentucky in July of last year, 2022, and the March 3rd windstorm. That one impacted pretty much the entire state. But they see everything. Severe storms, floods, like I said, tornadoes, winter storms, wildfires, tropical storms get up here occasionally, along with landslides and earthquakes. <laughs> earthquakes aren't a really big thing for them, but the tornadoes and the flooding really do some damage to Kentucky. In 2021, Kentucky declared 147 natural disasters, and since 1953, the federal government has reported 74 in Kentucky. I guess maybe these are less, but because the states are smaller, like Florida's quite a big state, right? So, but these states aren't small states either. I mean, Florida's such a big state. Oh, not such. It's a relatively big state. Maybe it's like in terms of proportion to size, it doesn't equate to as much. But they had 130. Then the last few states have had many, like much less in that time frame. Like much less. Number four, Oklahoma. Damn it, man. Wait, where did I say Oklahoma? I said third or something, I think. This one is sort of a no-brainer. I mean, it's in Tornado Alley. Actually, where Oklahoma is located, it's known as the Eye of Tornado Alley. Most tornadoes in Oklahoma happen between April and June. The deadliest tornado in Oklahoma's history was in Oklahoma City in 1999, May 3rd to be exact. It was a F5 tornado. That tornado did $1 billion in damage and 36 people died in that tornado with another five that were in direct fatalities. Oklahoma declared 155. How do you decide what an indirect fatality is? Five natural disasters in 2021. And since 1953, the federal government has declared 170. See, that's a big jump up. Three natural Jeez. disasters in Oklahoma. Number three, Mississippi. Okay. Where do you start? So we're starting to get closer to Louisiana, which I did say was first. I, I think I'm going to be right with that. Start with Mississippi. I mean, the entire state can be considered a natural disaster. The Magnolia State sees severe storms, hurricanes, extreme heat and drought, tornadoes, floods, winter storms, landslides. By the way, that's a cool-ass gas station. 
That is a cool ass gas station. And they've had a few earthquakes, nothing major though. They were another state that was hit by Hurricane Katrina in 2005 and April of 2011, the tornado outbreak, which killed in total all the states, 321 people. In March of this year, Damn. President Biden declared major disasters after straight line winds and tornadoes struck Mississippi. In 2021, Mississippi declared 202 natural disasters and since 1953 they have had 75 major natural disasters that the feds got involved in Damn. number two louisiana number two <clears throat> what's number one gonna be then like is it gonna be just one of these ones here or like these ones or it will be texas or california i think when you're talking about natural disasters in louisiana i feel like california gets it gets the extremes of its national national disasters but a natural disaster national disasters but it doesn't get as many different ones like you get earthquakes you get fire um fire breakouts and stuff but uh, wildfires that's the one and i guess you'll get like insanely hot temperatures and maybe like droughts and stuff but do you get all aspects like storms and then hurricanes as well? I don't think so, so maybe it won't be here. Right away, you're thinking hurricanes. They have been hit by so many hurricanes in my lifetime alone. It's insane. Obviously, the biggest one was Hurricane Katrina in 2005. Katrina's storm surge caused levee failures in New Orleans, flooding 80% of the city. Louisiana didn't get a break. Hurricane Rita hit. This Category 3 hurricane made landfall in southwestern Louisiana less than a month after Hurricane Katrina. Way back in 92, they had Hurricane Andrew. Then, of course, Hurricane Harvey, which was a Category 4 hurricane. It made landfall in Texas and Louisiana in 2017, causing catastrophic flooding and over 100 deaths. Now, back before I was born, they had Hurricane Betsy in 1965. It struck New Orleans, causing levees to breach and flooding in more than 160,000 homes. If I was gonna build a house in New Orleans, I would put it on stilts like they do in North Carolina's Outer Banks and other places. I think Texas does that too, some of their beach cities. In 2021, Louisiana declared 327 natural disasters. Since 1953, they've had 79 major natural disasters disasters that the federal government got involved in time oh there's a link down few others all right on to number one so i'm gonna say texas or california california is a big shower thing maybe it's either there or it's just the dumbest flipping guess ever but and i knew it was texas man god damn it it's because it's so big number one texas yep everything's big in texas and that extends to their natural disasters they get some pretty good ones out there i would have thought louisiana would have beat them but no here's texas that's obviously because it's a bigger state they got a lot more land to have a lot more natural disasters i guess that at the start i did that was the guess that i made they get flooding wildfires tornadoes hailstorms, sinkholes erosion and drought they say an average of 132 tornadoes touch down in Texas every single year. They average 900 wildfires every year. Not all of them get to epic proportion and require the National Guard or anything like that, but they got a lot of dry grassland that makes Texas particularly prone to wildfires. In its history, Texas has had the highest total costs associated with drought, severe storms, and winter storms. Now, they've been hit by some serious hurricanes uh, if everyone remembers a few years back hurricane harvey just nailed the state that one was so bad with the flooding and everything people are <laughs> it's like if you owned a canoe you could win back an old girlfriend from a really bad relationship when hurricane harvey hit it you know i just noticed this I watched a lot of news at the time and watching what was happening there and it kind of i don't know reignited my passion for life in a way just to see people helping each other they didn't need to help them these are normal citizens helping you know older women out of their homes that you know were maybe in a wheelchair or walker you know guy puts well i just remember this one guy like waist deep in water he's got this older woman who lived a couple doors down from him giving her a piggyback ride over a mile away in water just to get her to safety there's so many things like that you know, I know it's a disaster, but it just kind of gives you hope for mankind when you see people doing things for other people that not benefiting them, really. There was a quote. I think it's from a book or a movie. I, I heard it online, but it said, Society works best when older men are planting trees. They know they'll never have the pleasure of sitting in its shade. Natural disasters bring that out in human beings, and that's the best part about a natural disaster normally. Of course, then you have the other side of the coin when you have people 
real estate people, developers, trying to buy homes of people that are still looking for their loved ones in Hawaii after that fire. One lady said she was getting four or five calls a day, emails, anything else. They got her information. They're trying to get a hold of her. She's trying to find like her aunt or something that's missing. Anyway, let me get off my soapbox. Texas saw 510 natural disasters in 2021. Since 1953, the federal government- Okay, yeah, it's by a long distance, <laughs> the state with the most natural disasters for sure has declared 255 major natural disasters in texas so that's in what 70 years 255 that's like nearly three and a half natural disasters um, fe federal emergencies a year sorry 3.5 that is brutal um yeah this is a look into the states of the most natural disasters if you're from these states or if you've been to these states let me know if that's the case i mean there wasn't many surprises to be fair my guesses were a bit off here and there but i did sort of gauge which ones i thought would be top but um hopefully you enjoyed this or you found this interesting and yeah stay safe out there until next time peace